गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टीचर हाउ आर यू टुडे फाइन थैंक्स हाउ वाज योर डे इट वाज ओके ओके गुड डिड यू वर्क यस बट आई बट आई वाइ वॉक अप अराउंड नाइन एम ओह दैट्स गुड यस इट इज Yep, and what time did you go to sleep? Ah, uh, like 12 midnight. Okay. So you slept uh what? 9 hours? Yeah, more or less. Okay. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yep. What about the others? Kevin, Jennifer, Elizabeth, Samuel, Emmanuel. How was your day? My day was good. Did you did you work? I, I I don't work. Okay. Fine. What about the others? My day was so good because I I work in from house and I receive the I speech like this about the the technology and oh. other things okay so uh, i all this week i i i will to connect on the morning okay and who is giving you the training is a uh, I I in screen online on Microsoft and in the other is about the security uh, about the camera. Okay. And in, in the alarms and other thing about the security. Okay, good, good. That's good. So that is your area, technology. Yeah, technology. Uh, Cell phone, television, computer, cameras, and uh, everything, a network. Good, good, good. That's that's nice. Yeah. 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 And it's the very, others. It's, it's very, it's very uh, complete the, the information about the the technology. Right, right. I imagine. That's good. What about Emmanuel? Jennifer, Elizabeth, how was your day, people? No. Yes, Elizabeth, how was your day? Uh, well, I'm not good, I think. I think I'm a little, um, I'm a little sick. Um, I only think that I hope. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> okay. What symptoms do you have? I just uh, fever. 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 Um, yeah. I think it's um a flu. My okay. Hina. Yeah. Le let's hope um, it's a normal flu. Yeah, I, I hope that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let, let's let's hope that it's the normal regular flu or cold that we usually get in El Salvador. Yeah, yep. I hope. Yes. And Jennifer, um, how was your day? Um, normal teacher, I do some exercise and I uh, get classes for the U, for, for my U, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay, that's good. And what do you study again? Uh, nutrition. Good, good. You say you study in La Evangelica? Yes. All right, good. All right, so let's begin. Today is May 19th, 2020. It's Tuesday. Um, let's talk a little bit about what we did yesterday. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? 
Yes. Can you remind us, please? We talked about models. Good. What, what is the function of models? What are models? Well, I think they are words to um, express and um, let me see um, um, important things like our, let me see, articles, uh, what we can use to, let me see, unir, well. Um, combine, link. Yes, yes, combine uh, our expression and condition and other similar expression. Okay. Someone else wants to give um, your opinion about uh, what models are? Can, should, might, would? Must. Could. Uh-huh. So, um, is the, the concept that you have about models, is it different from what Eduardo just mentioned? Or do you have something extra that you want to add? Modal verbs are auxiliary verbs. Okay. Like, just like be, do, or have. And just that. Okay, very good. Someone else? No? Now, when we use modal auxiliaries, what is the form of the main verb? What's the base form? form? Base form. Base, base form, form. With, without two. Exactly. So we use, uh, if you're using modal auxiliaries, you will say, I can play, she should play, we could play, we must play. So every time you use modal auxiliaries, you're going to have to use the base form of the verb. That is correct. So models, what they do is they give a specific meaning to the verb. If I say, you should take medicine, the message is very different if I said, you must take medicine. So... What is the function of should? What's the function of should? Suggestion. Yes. Should. It's about, the, should it's about the advice or suggestion. Uh -huh. Yeah, advice or suggestion. <laughs> so if you tell me, Francisco, I have a headache, I say, look, you should take an aspirin before you go to sleep. That is my suggestion. But the final decision is yours. Now, if I say, if you tell me, look, I have a very serious stomach ache and I've been having it for the past five hours, then I would say, well, you must see a doctor. Five hours and the stomach ache is getting more serious and more serious, then it's not a suggestion. It's something that I express that you need to do. So you say, you must see a doctor. You must go to the hospital. And that is more serious than have to. Yes. Um, anything else? Uh, I have a question. Yes, Eduardo. Uh, you said a moment ago, uh, stomach getting more serious. Uh, what does it mean in Spanish? What is what? Uh, what does it mean in Spanish? Uh, more serious? Uh, in, let me see. The stomach A is getting more serious, you said, I think. Right, right. So, el dolor de estómago se está poniendo más serio. And it's been five oh, hours. Okay, okay. So, every hour, it gets more serious. So if that's the situation, okay, people okay, tell thanks. you, okay, good. So people would tell you, look, uh, you must see a doctor or you must see, uh, you must go to a hospital. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, something else that is very important 
you can never, ever, ever use two models with the same verb. Why is that? Because every model gives a specific function to the main verb. So you should stay, you could go, you must take aspirin. Now, it's impossible to make a combination of the two models with the same verb. So you can never, ever, under any circumstance, use two models uh, together. Never. Okay, um, we're gonna have other exercises related with models. Um, anything else you would like to say about models? No. No. All right, what else did we talk about yesterday? What was comparative? Comparatives, yes, comparatives and superlatives. Yes. Um, in English, we have short adjectives and we have long adjectives. How many syllables do we have in the short adjectives? One or two syllables. One or two. Okay, one or two. Um, one is the official answer. However, there are times that uh, some adjectives, when you compare them and you use the superlative form, um, they have two syllables. And those syllables finish with letter Y. So you will say silly, ugly, pretty, fancy. You will say uglier, sillier, fancier, uh, because uh, they have two syllables and they finish in letter Y. So when you're comparing, you should say uh, prettier and fancier. Now, what is the superlative form? The, fan the fanciest. Good. The fanciest, the ugliest, the prettiest, the cheapest. So if you want to use the comparative form, you will use ER, fast, faster. But if you're going to use the superlative form, you have to use EST. But before the adjective, it is necessary that you include the article D or D. It depends uh, what the next, um, the next uh, letter sound is. So, what's the difference between da and d? Do you remember what we said last week? Uh, I think it's the same, but it depends about the next word. Uh, if the next word starts with a uh, vowel, for example, m. Uh, we have to say the end, but okay. the next uh, word is with a, uh, it starts with a, let me see, vowel uh, consonant, for example, car, I think we can say the car, but okay. I'm not sure. Good, no, your, your answer is, um, is completely correct. Um, let me write this here, vowels, vowels. Right there. Do you guys see the chat? The chat from the platform? Yes. 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 Okay, so yes. we say the when the next sound is a consonant. Oh. And the second one, you say D when the next uh, sound is a vowel. So we have A, E, I, O, U. So you will say... Uh, only by... Uh, excuse me. When the when the word starts in vowel yourself or fin or the end is vowel. Okay, L let me give you this example. Uh, I wrote the car. So in that case, I say the because car initiates with letter C and letter C is a consonant. 
Oh. Now, if I say... The, the ugly boy. Okay, the ugly boy. Okay, let's use that one. The ugly boy. You will use D. Because ugly um, starts with vowel U. So therefore, pronunciation of article, of the definite article should be D, not the. So you will say the car and you will say the ugly boy. Do you guys see the difference? Yes. 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 No, thank you. Okay. I don't uh, know that. Okay, so once again, um, the name of this is definite article. That is the name. Definite article. Um, and it has two sounds. It has the when the next sound is a consonant and you say D when the next sound is a vowel. Examples, the car or the ugly boy. The car, the ugly boy. So uh, it's very necessary when you're doing the superlative forms of short or long adjectives, you need, you must include these two. So you will say the most beautiful girl, the the ugliest guy in town, for example. So it's necessary that you include it. Are there any questions here? No. Uh, any, no. Thank you. All right. Anything else about yesterday? No. no. Okay, so let me um, let me share this with you. We saw this um, image yesterday. Do you see it? It's oh, yes. yes. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. So once again, we have three parts. We have the first one is the function. The second one is the name of the modal verb. And then at the end, we have examples. Um, I told you guys yesterday that some of these modal verbs, they only have one function, but in other cases, they have a double function. So your mission is to know the two functions, if they have two functions, and be very familiar with it. <coughs> Are there any questions with this image here? Uh -uh. No. All right, so let's do this here. Do you see this exercise? Yes. All right. So it's only eight sentences. You're supposed to use um, one sentence for each, uh, one, one modal verb for each sentence. So what would be the answer for the first one? You blank, tell me the truth for your own good. You should tell me. Okay, that is possible. Now imagine a police officer uh, telling you, questioning you, and then he gives you the advice. You blank tell me the truth for your own good. What would be another possibility? You must, must. Yep. You, you must, must tell me the truth for your own good. Good. Should is also possible. Will is also possible. Can is also possible. But the best option is must. You must tell me the truth for your own good. What would be the answer for number two? I couldn't. Yes. yes. I couldn't. Yes. I couldn't find my shoes anywhere. And you keep looking for them. I couldn't find my shoes anywhere. What would be Teacher. the answer? Yes, sir. I have a question. What is the meaning about how to? Ought to. Does anybody know the meaning of ought to? 
Anybody? All two is similar to must and have to. All right. So if I say, you know what, um, I have a stomach ache. They said, oh, Francisco, you ought to go to the doctors. You ought to call a clinic. All right. It's, it's another form to say it's a good idea that you do something. Okay. Is all too clear? Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. What about number three? We must. Okay, sure. We must arrive on time or else we will be in trouble. That is possible. What about number four? Don't, don't feel afraid to, to make, um, to give your answers. He will, he can. Okay, we can shoot the basket, okay, we can shoot uh, uh, the basketball at the rim. He, sure, it's is, possible. He, is he? Is he? Oh, we he will. He will he shoot. He will shoot. Yeah, he will shoot the basketball at the rim. It's possible. What about number five? Can. Uh huh. Can you let me know the time? Sure. What about number six? What is the main, the main of trust, trustworthy? Trustworthy. Does anybody know the meaning of trustworthy? No. No. Yes. Okay, who said yes? Can you explain, please? Uh, trustworthy is, in Spanish is like uh, digno de confianza. Like yes. Trust in that person. Yes. Cooling. Yeah, thank you. Trustworthy makes reference to a person um, that you can trust. So what would be the answer for number six? Call not. They couldn't. No. Couldn't in that case, I don't oh, think it, it fits there because it will be double negative. Might. Might. They might not be trustworthy enough. Sure, that's a possibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about number seven? Okay. Uh-huh. Can you please pause the salt? Oh. Or may? Oh, or may. Sure. Or may. may you please or may. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. You can also say will. Will you please pause the salt? Yeah. And what about the last one, number eight? Sure. 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 We should. We, we should prepare we for the exam. Uh-huh. We must. We should. We will. We might. Even we couldn't. Look, I'm sorry, but we couldn't prepare for the big exam. Yes. So, like I said, uh, in this exercise, you should put one in each sentence. But in a real conversation, you can use variety and choose two or three options. And, and the sentence would still make sense. Are there any questions with the with this intro uh, with this introductory um, exercise? Are we okay any here? Question? No questions. Okay, uh, this no one question. was, was no, clear. okay. This one in particular was very simple. Let's check this one here. Uh -huh. See now. Here we go. All right, so you have this is multiple choice. They give you three options for each exercise. 
I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. Um, so discuss the answers. Uh, let me make the pairs. Okay. Two and three, here we go. Uh, you didn't send the image right now. I'll do it right now. I forgot. Sorry. Okay, okay. Let's see, eight to nine. Take a picture. Um, yeah. So, yes, yeah. You, you're not alone. No. Okay, good. No problem. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm here, teacher. All right, good. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the, the image says directions complete each sentence below with a modal verb form the word bank above. Um, no. I, I, Tengo rotación de pantalla, pero... <laughs> eh. Okay, I think it's can't, but it's like saying to someone, él no puede eh. ser Jason, porque él anda en una misión en Marte. Ah, qué interesante. <laughs> Antonio and Luis, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I was trying to communicate, but no one won't answer, so I'm like uh, Luis by myself. Okay, Luis, can you hear me? Yeah, teacher, I can hear you. Okay, so do do um do you guys have the image? Oh, I have a problem with my yes. internet connection. Okay, Luis, you don't have the image. No, I don't have it. Um, are you using a computer or a cell phone right now? I'm using my computer, but I, it's not, I am on the WhatsApp group and I think the, the internet is very slow. Okay, let me I'm check. I'm using a cell phone. All right, but uh, Antonio, you have the image. Yes, I do. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh -huh. You want me to read the sentence? Um, no, um, maybe, let me see, Luis, you don't have a, <coughs> excuse me. Don't worry. Um, let me see this. What is your telephone number, uh, Luis? Seven, six. Seven, six. Two. Uh huh. Zero. Mm -hmm. Zero, five. Zero, five. Eight, five. Eight, five. So, seven, six, twenty two, zero, five, eight, five. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, let me check this here. Uh -huh. Lewis. Uh 
my goodness. All right, hold on. Okay. I need to change this this telephone. It's kind of difficult. Hold on. We got K L My goodness. Can you can you um can you see the image right now, uh, Louis, in your computer? No. 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 Okay. Okay. Hold on. 